Hey guys, we're back and I want to talk a little bit more uh, now in section 11.1, a little bit more about ordered pairs. A little bit more about ordered pairs. Now, we said uh, in our last time that we were together, we talked about ordered pairs as being um, points that we could plot on a graph. Now, this time I want to talk about ordered pairs in a little bit different way. I think it's worthwhile to note that ordered pairs and ordered pair O-R-D-E-R-E-D P-A-I-R is also the solution to a what we call linear equation in two variables. Now, let's just say a couple of words about that definition before we move on. Uh, so this ordered pair, this, this point that we were able to find on the graph, is not only a point, but it's also a solution to something we call a linear equation. Well, there are certain equations, guys, that when we take those equations and solve them, what we can come up with if we were to graph the equation on a, on a rectangular coordinate system, we come up with a straight line. Those are known as linear equations. Now we say two variables, two variables because there are actually two variables in all of these linear equations. Okay, and so the, a classic example of, of, a, of a linear equation would be something like x plus y equals uh, let's say x plus y equals 5. All right. <clears throat> so x and y, actually, if we look at it as an ordered pair, would be the ordered pair that would make this a true statement. So, so for example, if we were to say we've got the ordered pair x comma y, if we were to come underneath that and say, hey, I wonder, I wonder what y would be if we let x, for example, equal 2. If we let x be 2 in this equation, we'd have 2 plus y equals 5. And, of course, then y would equal 3. And so 2 comma 3. Now, 2 comma 3 is an ordered pair. We, we saw that before. But 2 comma 3 is an ordered pair, or is at least one ordered pair, that makes this equation true. And so an ordered pair not only can be graphed on a uh, rectangular coordinate system, it is also represents a solution to one of these linear equations. Let, let's see that, that we could probably find many, many ordered pairs that would be solutions to this linear equation. Let's, uh, let's take another example right quick. Suppose we had, uh, suppose we said that this time we we're going to let y, for example, let's say we're going to let y equal uh, 1. Okay, so if y were to equal 1 in this equation, we put the 1 in for the y, and we said x plus 1 equals 5, and we were to solve that equation for x, we'll go through the solution process very quickly this time, so that's x equals 5 minus 1, that's simply taking the positive 1 to the opposite side of the equals, making it a negative 1, so of course x equals 4. Uh, so if x equals 4, excuse me, actually if y equals 1, then that means x must equal 4. So here is another possible solution to this linear equation of x plus y equals 5. And guys, there are actually an infinite number of solutions, an infinite number of ordered pairs that would make this equation work. Let's take a, let's take a look at uh, another linear equation and look at maybe some ordered pairs that could uh, work for that particular linear equation. So let's get this off here for a quick second. And let's take a look at the, I want to take a look this time at the equation, 2x minus 3y equals 6. Okay, so we've got a linear equation here in two variables. Have I got that so you can see it? I'm thinking, I hope, yes, maybe. Let's move it down just a tad to make sure. 2x minus 3y equals 6. Okay, and I know we got that this time. So 2x minus 3y equals 6. So I wonder, I just wonder what ordered pairs we could plug in here that would actually make this linear equation work, that would make this a true statement. 
I wonder if we decided to let x equal 0, I wonder what y would come out to be. All right, so if we let x equal 0, then we would say, we'd be simply saying 2 times 0 minus 3y equals 6. Of course, we know 2 times 0 is 0. Good. So we'd have negative 3y equals 6. And then, of course, to clear this coefficient off the variable, we learned back in chapter 9, 5 to, to 9, 8 how to solve uh, basic equations. So to clear this coefficient off, we divide by negative 3. Come over here, divide by negative 3. Of course, that would cancel. That would isolate y. That's what we're trying to do is isolate the y. And once we do that, we'll see negative 2. So we have there y equals negative 2. Uh, <clears throat> so then if we know y equals negative 2 uh, right there, when x is 0, y is negative 2. And so there's an ordered pair that makes this a true statement, okay, that makes this a true statement. I wonder if we could find another ordered pair that would actually make this work. Um, excuse me here for a quick second to do something. All right, good. Now, let's find us another ordered pair. I wonder what our ordered pair would turn out to be if we decided in our equation this time to let, I don't know, let's let y equal 0. In other words, let's find the zeros for this equation. Let's find out uh, what the ordered pair is if we let x equal 0. That's what we just did. Now let's find out what the ordered pair that works for this equation is if we let y equal 0. All right, so if we do that, it's going to look like 2x minus 3 times 0 equals 6. Of course, 3 times 0 or negative 3 times 0 is 0, so we've got 2x equals 6. We divide by 2 here, divide by 2 here, cancel, x equals 3 x equals 3. So my ordered pair then will be, if I decided in this original equation here to let y equal 0 and work the equation out, x turns out to be equal to 3. So another ordered pair that works for this equation is 3 comma 0. 3 comma 0. And so we could go on and we could find bunches of ordered pairs that work for this equation. What I want to invite you to do right quick, I want to uh, <clears throat> actually give you a, a practice uh, problem to, to work on for a quick second. What I'd like you to do, I want you to take 6x plus 4y equals 12. Okay? Uh, 6x plus 4y equals 12. This will be uh, your linear equation in two variables, x, y, and so what we're going to do is we're going to look for ordered pairs, y'all, that will make this equation work. Now, the way I want you to do that uh, very quickly is I want you to find the zeros, exactly what we did just a second ago. I'd like you to uh, take a look. If, if you were to let x equal zero, plug it in, work it out for y, and see what the y value would turn out to be for the ordered pair. Then, I want you to go back, and I want you to let y equal 0 in a separate, a separate bit of work. Let the y equal 0, and work it out to see what the x would be. So, pause the video here for a second. Go take a quick jump on finding the, the ordered pairs that actually work in this equation, or at least two of them that'll work in this equation. I'll see you back on the flip side. We'll check this in just a second. Great. I'm glad to see you back. I hope you're able to work this out. Let's take a quick look so you can check your work. So we're going to let, first of all, the x equal 0. So we're going to say 6 times 0. There's x equals 0 plus 4y equals 12. Okay, so of course that's 0. So we've got 4y equals 12. Then we're simply going to divide by 4 here, divide by 4 here, so that cancels, and we've got y isolated. Isolated y gives me a 3 right there. So when the x value is set at 0 in this linear equation, then the y value turns out to be 3. So 0, 3 is one ordered pair solution to this linear equation in two variables. I hope you got that. Uh, let's go ahead and check the second one that we did, and in the second one we decided to start off by letting the y value equal zero. 
So we would say 6x plus 4 times 0 equals 12. And we'd solve this for x. Now when we solve this for x, of course you had 6x equals 12. And you divided by 6 and divided by 6. Cancel out. And the x equals a 2. So your x value comes out to be 2. So the second ordered pair that works in this linear equation, two variables, is 2 comma 0. We're going to ultimately start graphing these, and that will produce a line for us as we go. I hope that worked out for you. I'll see you more in the next section as we talk a little bit more about graphing and what's involved in that. Thanks a lot.